All right, good day, guys. We're going to get into uh, week two, uh, lecture two of e business e commerce. So, we're going to do a week one recap. So, what is e business? What is e commerce? B2C, B2B, C2B, and C2C. You guys. You guys remember all these things, right? So basically, what is e-business? E-business is any business that does business over the internet. Um, E-commerce is it has to be a transaction that happens over the internet. B2C, we, we spoke about that. Importance of e-business and e-commerce. Every business in this day and age needs it in order to be successful and have a competitive advantage. Factors preventing e-business and e-commerce. It's expensive. It's, it's tough to implement. It's uh, You need a lot of back-end support and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, that was very basic stuff, guys. So, if you guys need to go over it again, just go over the go over the slides from last week. Okay, so week two, e-commerce fundamentals. So every business organization operation is part of a business environment. No entity can operate in isolation because there are so many factors that closely or distantly surround the business. This is called a business environment. Okay, guys. So every business it doesn't matter what business you're in. If you're a flower shop, if you're a uh, restaurant, if you're a um, let's say uh, I don't know a grocery store guys every organization is part of a uh, business environment so a business environment basically is stuff that can be affected or affects the business for example um, during this pandemic we have we know that we had a lot of business being affected right for example our school has been affected our restaurants have all shut down um, our uh, gyms, our you know, uh, social gathering areas, right? M movie theaters, all that stuff. So that's part of their business environment, of those companies' business environment, right? All those external factors. So business environments uh, categorize into two different uh, categories, right? So there's a the micro environment and the macro environment. So we'll get into that a little bit. What's the micro environment? So basically, the micro environment is the nearby environment under which the firm operates. They're very specific in nature, usually controllable to some extent. They heavily influence the business directly and regularly. Guys, micro environment, okay? It's the stuff that really, really affects the business on a day to day, um, on a day to day schedule, right? They're controllable, like you can usually control them. Uh, very specific, so you can pinpoint what's really happening, right? And they heavily influence the business. So this is what a micro environment is. What are the elements of micro environment? You, all, you have to remember this, guys. It's gonna be very important for the quiz and the assignments and your exa final exams, okay? Elements of micro environment. The abbreviation is cosmic, okay? Abbreviation means you take a bunch of words and you make them into one. Okay, so Cosmic. So what's the first one? What does it stand for? Competitors, organization, suppliers, market, intermediaries, customers. Okay, the elements of micro environment include Cosmic. Make sure you remember that because the exam will ask you questions like, what's the Cosmic, um, what, what's the, uh, what are the elements of the micro environment? List all of them and then there's going to be more stuff I'll be asking you as well. Okay, so competitors. Who are the competitors? Competitors directly affect a company because if let's just say you're selling uh, water bottles, your competitor could be also selling water bottles. So what are they doing differently? How can they affect you? Let's say they start selling the same type of water you have for half the price. That's going to, that's, that's going to directly affect you. That's part of the microenvironment. Organization right your organization what's going on in your, your your business itself right your suppliers what are your suppliers doing do you have enough suppliers in order to get the best price or do you only have one supplier who's taking control of your entire margins right like if there's one only one supplier he can charge you whatever he or she can charge you whatever they want and you have to end up paying that which could cut your cut your margins right market what's the market up to what's the entire actual market up to right what's what are what are the uh how's the market doing is how's the econ uh, not the economy but how's the market purchasing intermediaries 
intermediaries would be people who sell your product. So let's just say that you're selling these water bottles, you're selling them through um, convenience stores, you're selling them through restaurants, you're selling them through all these different um, different locations. How are they behaving? How are they purchasing? How are they selling? They directly affect you too because they're the ones in the middle. Intermediaries could also be like agents or brokers or stuff like that. And then customers, obviously. How are custom? What are customers doing right now? How are they buying? For example, Amazon right now, their customers because of the pandemic, they're making so much. They're buying so much more, right? So that's part of customers. Obviously, is part of their uh, their micro environment. Like we said, competitor, a company in the same industry or similar industry which offers a similar product or service. Organization. So basically, this is your whole entity, right? Your entire organization, your entire company. They provide the goods and services. So basically, the effect that our organization has on itself. So owners, management, shareholders, employees, that's all part of the organization, right? So if you're, the way that your, your owners and shareholders, employees behave, that's going to basically, um, that's going to show how your company is doing, right? It's going to affect your company. If they're behaving in a positive manner, in an ethical manner, and a profit-oriented manner, then you're going to be seeing profits for your business. Suppliers. Entity that supplies goods and services to another organization. Very simple. Market. Any place where markets uh, will make a distributor to their sell, consume and buy, shops, websites, etc intermediaries so put buyers and sellers together right so these are like your your middlemen not wholesalers or distributors but they buy products and then resell them they're usually paid a percentage on the total transaction such as brokers and agents and then obviously your customers you guys know what customers are so that's the micro environment abbreviation of that all the elements of the micro environment are cosmic now what's the macro environment so it refers to the general environment that can affect the working of all business enterprises. Nature of elements is general. Like microenvironment, it was very specific. This is general. It's like kind of the opposite of it. Factors are uncontrollable. If you're within an organization and you're the CEO, president of an organization, you usually can't control the macro environment. Indirectly and distantly affect the business. So they're going to affect the business from afar perspective okay so what are the elements of macro environment so slept is the abbreviation here what does slept stand for social factors legal factors economic factors political factors technological factors okay so what are some social factors so basically knowing about the people around you and their family backgrounds health consciousness education level population growth guys these are social factors that affect a business an organization so, for example, if you're opening up, opening up gyms in a in an area where the social factors have a very low health consciousness, your gym's not going to do good. It will affect your business. Gender distribution, social classes, etc. What are some legal factors? Antitrust laws, discrimination laws, intellectual property laws, consumer protection laws. Legal factors will affect an organization because if laws change, they could change your business significantly. For example, um, when I was trading commodities in Quebec, um, some legal factors changed within our within our industry, which ended up ma making our industry, our company, lose money. We had to we had to do some things differently in order to keep uh, keep up with this with the changing standards of the legal system. So there's different there's different type of laws that come into play that can affect your business. Economic factors, guys, we see this right now, right? The economy is taking a hit. So many people have lost their jobs, so many people have lost their businesses, their homes, their mortgage, their all that stuff, right? So economic factors, growth rates, inflation rates, interest rates, exchange rates, these are all these are all things that affect an organization if interest rates are low that means more people will be borrowing when they're borrowing they're going to be borrowing money for a lower price and so then uh, it, you know the, the borrowing becomes really high right if interest rates are really high then no one's really borrowing from the banks and the banks the government's not doing too well stuff like that right so economic factors 
monetary policies, credit availability. Political factors, guys. We see this all the time in developing countries. Political, uh, the politics change all the time in these in in countries. Okay, um, so you see what's happening with Trump and Biden and all these guys right now in the U.S. It's affecting a lot of people, right? When Trump says, "Okay, now Canada, U.S. is not going to have the free trade agreement anymore. Canada has to pay tariffs on everything," that highly affected people's businesses, right? So political factors. Corruption level, you know, a lot of people flee from their country because of corruption. Um, their government's not stable, trade control, competition regulations, trade unions, protection laws, employment laws, right? So guys, this is basically the last slide of, um, of our PowerPoint. So we're going to talk about technological factors finally. So research and development activity, technology incentives, rate of tech change, infrastructure level, access to technology. So basically, it, the macro environment in this situation, what you're looking at is you have technological factors that change technology that in, in any industry, as we see from the beginning of the technological era, technology moves very fast. It... Um, you're always there's there's always people trying to reinvent and and advance technology and so for example the biggest example in this I think right now um, that I have right now would be BlackBerry right remember research in motion BlackBerry we all used to use Blackberries everybody used Blackberry everyone loved BBM and they would always be BBM each other and talking to each other and stuff like that what happened to BlackBerry BlackBerry is done. Nobody uses BlackBerry anymore. Barely have any market share left. The biggest ones are Sam Samsung, Google, Apple. Right? These guys are the ones who have market share. Why? Because they were they're progressive with the times. They keep reinvesting in in new technology, new software, new things for for people to use. That's what's happening. Right? That's what's happening to the entire to the entire world. Um, the, the technology is moving so fast that it affects people's businesses immensely. So BlackBerry got affected immensely. Now, how, is it, how did it affect people, companies in a positive way? Let's look at Amazon. Amazon, the way Amazon does their business, I believe is probably the best business in the world. The way that they, they're always changing to meet consumer needs, always changing to meet consumer needs. And with that, they're using a lot of technology based stuff, right? They're using, um, their apps, you know, their apps have everything on. Use your credit card, one touch, one touch purchase. Buy. You go to their uh, warehouses. They have robots. They have everything's automated. Everything's easier. Everything's made so easy for everybody to to use. So those are technol. Those are some examples of how technology is taking over and advancing companies, right? Advancing and changing the macro environment of companies. So guys, basically that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. This is going to be a short class, but what we're going to do is we're going to cover week one and week two in the next class in the live session. Sorry, not the next class, in this class. We're going to be covering week one and week two. Um, so just just to just to follow up on this on this entire uh, slide. You have the micro environment, you have the macro environment that affects a business. The micro environment is the cosmic abbreviation, the macro environment is the slept abbreviation, and this is extremely important. It will be on your exams. It might it might I might not just say what is the what is the abbreviation cosmic stand for or what what are the elements of a micro I might ask you, hey, this is this this company, Amazon. Tell me what their micro environment is and list each of their factors, stuff like that. Okay, so make sure you guys know that. Only people who are gonna know about that for the exam are the ones who actually watch the slide because I won't be really discussing it in class. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in class.